So we just got an official announcement of the next release for the Pokemon franchise, which is Legends ZA. But I feel like there's still a small chance that we could actually get a new Pokemon game in 2024. And I'm not just talking about the TCG mobile app that they announced as well in the Pokemon Presents. So around like November, December-ish of last year, 2023, there were some leaks and stuff by people that are pretty reputable about two Pokemon games coming out next year which would have been 2024 which is currently it is 2024 as we all know but with the pokemon presents they only announced one i mean i guess you could say they technically announced two with the tcg app but we're not counting the tcg app that that seems cool that's a cool game coming to the phones but you know i'm not talking about that so they announced legend ZA, which comes out in 2025 which who knows maybe that was supposed to come out this year um but i hope they take the time with it i really really hope they develop that game thoroughly but as you also may know, there were just a ton of rumors and talk about a black and white remake or just some type of Legends Kiram, which I don't think we'd get a Legends Kiram yet, maybe in the future, because I don't think they're going to release two Legends games back to back. But just some type of black and white Generation 5 Unova game was kind of rumored to be coming out next, which a Generation 5 remake is next in line for a remake, because Generation 4 remakes just came out a few years ago, which was made by ilka or ilca i don't really know what they go by but they were not really received well by the fans people didn't really like them because they kind of just seemed like a direct port to the switch just with better graphics and even with that being said people didn't like the chibi art style and everything which is you know totally understandable but i've heard a couple people online talk about this as well but what if ilka is actually going to make another pokemon game to be released in 2024 because it's not uncommon for the Pokemon Presents to not actually be the only announcement date of a Pokemon game. They've they've announced plenty of Pokemon games that have either been announced before or after the Pokemon Presents in February or after Pokemon Day. So, so just because we got Legend ZA announced in the Pokemon Presents Pokemon Day just a few days ago, that doesn't mean that they can't announce another Pokemon game until next year. So I, I honestly hope this is not the case, but I, I wanted to make it a point because I've been thinking about this a lot. So like, what if Ilka is actually going to give us a black and white game? Because if you don't know, they, like Nintendo owns like 33% and it's like Pokemon, I guess owns itself. And then there's like Game Freak that owns another like 33% of the Pokemon like franchise. But I'm pretty sure they distribute their games out to other developers as well. And Ilka is one of them. But Ilka has actually only developed three games, I'm pretty sure. Literally three. But Ilka has actually only developed three Pokemon games. They've done Pokemon Home, Pokemon Sleep, and then Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. So, pretty big stretch out from mobile games. Well, I guess Home isn't really a mobile game, but it's not like a Pokemon game. It's just kind of a storage thing. So, you got Pokemon Sleep, which is just a mobile game. And then you got Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which is a massive game for the pokemon franchise but they probably should have given brilliant diamond shining pearl to a different development company but whatever but what if they sign a contract that basically allows them to make x amount of pokemon games for you know pokemon so like what if they actually are going to give us a black and white game this year i really hope not like i said let me make this clear i hope not i don't want a game at all this year even though i really like the pokemon franchise I think the best choice for them right now is to just slow down completely, even if it is a different development studio. So so this studio would actually not be the same as the people making Legends of ZA. So it's not like they would be working on two projects at one time. It would be different teams, completely different companies working on two different games. But still, I just don't think that it's a wise decision to give us two games again so you know, soon within each other's release. I, I don't think that's the smart idea here. I don't think that's a smart choice here, so I really hope that Ilka is not making a, a black and white Unova game. Maybe in the future, but I just also don't really think that they're the best company for a Pokemon game based on what they have done so far. I feel like they have different visions and they may, they may, they may thrive with other franchises, but from what they've done with Pokemon, it's kind of, you know, okay. Like, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I personally liked. Like, I didn't really care too much about them, to be honest. I didn't, I wasn't disappointed, but I also wasn't, like, amazed by it. I just had fun playing through Generation 4 again. That's pretty much what my reaction was. I was, I mean, I was obviously excited about it before its release, but it wasn't anything spectacular. But it wasn't, you know, terrible. Some people are saying that's just, like, the worst Pokemon game ever made, which, 
I don't know. If we do get another Pokemon game this year, like a mainline Pokemon game, they would probably have to announce it within the next, I don't know, three-ish months, and then set that release to be around November-ish or October of this year, because they typically release games at the end of the year. But what's interesting is the Legends ZA game, like, we don't know if that's going to be released in the beginning of the year or the end, because Legends Arceus was actually released in the beginning of 2022, I believe it was. My years are all getting all mixed up, so I think that was 2022, right? But it was in the beginning of the year, which was not typical, because a few months before that, we got Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and then, you know, three months after BDSP, we got Legends Arceus, so... Hopefully that's not the case this time where we're going to get like a black and white game and then a couple months later we get Legend ZA. I 100% want a Generation 5 Unova game though in the future. I think I could wait. I was really hyped for it because that's what all the leaks and rumors and like reputable leakers were pretty much teasing was a Unova game which who knows they still could be right. They, that still could come true but even though Generation 5 is probably my favorite region and my favorite games I could wait. I, I would love to a generation 5 game to just be complete like thoroughly thoroughly in-depth built i could wait years for that you know what i'm saying like i don't need it now because i still actually haven't played black and white 2 which if we don't get a game this year that gives me some time to actually play some pokemon games that i haven't played which would pretty much only be heart gold soul silver and then black and white 2 but i mean on the positive side i really think that the pokemon company you know game freak i feel like they're listening to the fans and I feel like they, they're they hearing everyone's calls because Pokemon is the biggest franchise on the planet, literally. Like, So they can afford to get better developers or spend more time or put more money into their games because they can. They can afford that. They sell just crazy numbers with their games, their plush, their cards, any type of accessory like figures, t-shirts, whatever it may be. The Pokemon community, they eat up merch and just anything that comes from the pokemon company because they're it's awesome it's a it's such a cool game series and franchise that all the stuff is really cool like i have a couple plush i think they're awesome they're just super cool to look at on the couch or whatever i really feel like they're listening to fans and i mean they obviously have to know about the fans complaints like about the how the games play or i guess scarlet and violet how it played how the graphics were so I think moving forward, I, I have a good feeling about the games. I really feel like they're going to improve. And Legends of ZA may even come out on the next console, the Switch 2, which I may make a video about in the future. I don't know, but which hopefully would give it better graphics because a Switch 2 means updated hardware, updated software, everything. Games can look a lot better, which games already can look really good on the Switch, but the Switch already is outdated. It's from 20, what, 17? So I guess we'll see what's coming up with Pokemon. I really hope that we don't get another release this year because I'd personally like to just take that time and play some of the games that I haven't played. I really want to get Black and White 2. I'll probably get that soon. But hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.